hey everyone so in this uh, video we will talk about gram schmidt orthogonality procedure okay so uh, you know uh, it's a linear algebra topic so, so many uh, literature available i found a nice explanation in wikipedia and uh, that's the page uh, which you are uh, currently seeing so what does it say so the Wikipedia definition says the uh, Gram Schmidt process is a method of orthonormalizing a set of vectors in an uh, in an inner product space, most com uh, commonly Euclidean space, equipped with the standard inner product. The Gram Schmidt process takes finite linearly independent set of vectors v1, v2, vk, generates an orthogonal set u1. Okay, so input will be vectors okay v1 v2 v3 say then our outputs are going to be u1 u2 u3 such that u1 u2 u3 are going to be such that their dot product is going to give us a zero that means uh, you multiply with themselves uh, u1 with u1 find the dot product of u1 with u1 you will get a one and if at all you multiply u1 with a dot product of u1 with u2 you shall get a zero okay so here is the process, okay? So remember this uh, projection, remember the term projection, okay, of V on U, if this is the definition. So what we do is we will be given a vector V1, V2, V3, say we have having so three vectors, V1, V2, and V3. So the first vector U1 will by default will be V1 only, U2 will be v2 minus projection of v2 on u1 okay that should give us the second orthonormal vector not orthonormal sorry orthogonal vector u3 will be v3 the vector v3 minus projection of v3 on u1 which we got in the first stage and projection of v3 on u2 okay so that's how iteratively you go on building the orthogonal uh, vectors then afterwards finally you have to normalize each of these vectors okay hmm. so that is the process okay so here you can see a numerical example also is given in wiki so here you can see they have taken two vectors three one and two two okay the main requirement is if at all i make it into a matrix three two one two then the matrix the entries shall be independent okay they shall be independent okay hmm? this is one of the requirement okay hmm? so here you can see uh the modified uh, three linearly independent non-orthogonal vectors okay that's what you are supposed to start with okay and you can see here u1 the first uh orthogonal set of vector is the v1 itself u2 is v2 which is 2 to minus projection of v2 on u1 so here is the formula which i had shown earlier you can see this particular video and you have got some vectors okay now there are two vectors for vectors 3 1 and 2 2 we have ended up getting 3 1 and minus 2 by 5 and 6 by 5 the combination is such that if at all i multiply the vectors u1 with u2 the dot product that means uh, element by element multiplication and then addition of that it gives me a zero there is second requirement u1 multiplied by u1 that is u1 dot product of u1 and u2 of dot product of u2 with itself should give me a one so for that what i have to do is i have to take the vectors and i have to normalize them okay here you can so normalize it so that should be the uh, end result okay hmm. so that is the thing so let me take you to the matlab interface now so let me share you the matlab screen okay here you can see is the uh, program which i have taken again from wikipedia page itself okay this is the program which was there in the wikipedia okay so uh, what does it say you can see here the first vector 
uh, v1 u1 is nothing but v1 itself and uh, then afterwards okay so naming by the way they have taken different names okay uh, a is what they've taken and from second vector onwards they keep on subtracting the projections in a loop for second one two project uh, projections uh, subtractions for third one uh, subtraction one subtraction twice and so on finally the values are normalized okay now let me run this program and let me show you what sort of output we are expecting here let me clear the screen and let me run this particular program okay so i should make sure that the input which i give the matrix which i give it has to be independent one okay it has to be independent one okay so what is an independent matrix by the way independent matrix means if at all you perform the row reduction it shall you shall have every column shall have a pivot okay that is the requirement every column shall have a pivot so let me give a matrix one two three uh seven one two and a six six one now that's a matrix which i given and you can see i have ended up getting matrix u okay now this particular matrix okay so the matrix a which i gave this is the matrix which i gave these are my entries 176 is my v1 216 is my v2 321 is my v3 and the corresponding orthonormal vectors which i have got are uh, this is the first one and you can see are you you know uh, wondering what just happened because the first vector u1 was nothing but v1 itself yes it is true but here the values you can see the ratio is still 1 is to 7 is to 6 it's only that they are normalized okay hmm? because okay now what is it how do we check whether our answer is correct or not so if at all i have done the you know uh, gram schmidt orthogonal procedure i have got three vectors which are orthonormal to each other that, that means if at all i perform the dot product of the vector with themselves i shall get a one and if at all i perform it with the other vectors i shall get a zero so the better check is u multiplied by u transpose and as expected multiplication with itself is indicated by the diagonal elements which are as expected one 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 and all other entries indicate the multiplication with the other vector which has yielded me a zero okay so that's a check okay and uh, what did i say the requirement is the matrix which i give it has to be a independent matrix now see here i will perform the row reduction echelon form of this particular matrix a which i gave and you can see i have got one two three right all columns have a perfect one let me try this thing once again. Now, this time, let me give you, let me give a matrix which is not independent. Let us see what's going to happen. Okay. So, uh, now, let me give a matrix. Let me intentionally have some dependency. 1, 2, 3, and uh, 2, 4, 6, and uh, 6, 5, 1. Okay. Now, this is a... Uh, one more matrix which i gave and uh, the per the process was carried out anyway now i got new matrix now let me tell you the row reduction echelon form of this new matrix which i gave just now what was that matrix once again uh, see here this was the matrix okay now if at all i do the row reduction echelon form of this particular matrix i am getting you can see here first column yeah, there is a pivot here, there is a pivot here, and then things have gone wrong. That is why the Gram-Schmidt orthogonality procedure, it has yielded some result. But you can see the result is U. Now, let me go ahead. U multiplied by U transpose. And uh, we have a problem. It's not an identity matrix. Okay. So, that is how uh, you perform the Gram-Schmidt orthogonality procedure. And also you cross check whether the answers you got is right or wrong. Let me tell you one more method. How can we perform the Gram-Schmidt orthogonality procedure? It's QR diagonalization. It's going to yield you simultaneously an orthonormal 
uh, matrix and also another matrix upper triangular matrix r such that your matrix a whatever you give it will be diagonalized as a multiplication of a orthonormal matrix q with an upper diagonal matrix r okay now let me name them as capital q space capital r equal to so the command is qr that's it qr and i shall give the matrix a now which matrix should i give i will not give this particular matrix which i give just now because it's not independent let me give the previous matrix only what was that uh, what was that let me define the matrix okay the matrix which i will, I will define the matrix a equal to let me let me not run the program once again it's a different it's just a command one two three seven one uh see, let me go you know i want me i want to make sure uh nine uh one four okay i have given just a random matrix i expect this so hope this is independent okay now the way to go is i will put a q and an r that's what the function returns okay one orthogonal matrix q and a upper diagonal matrix r equal to the command is qr the function is qr and here i shall give an a i will not give the semicolon because i want the display of the answers here itself now there i have got okay uh here you can see this is a better method okay i have got a q and an r and as i expected r has lower diagonal entries as zero now let me cross check whether this has given me a diagonal uh, sorry an orthonormal matrix or not like a q multiplied by q transpose and you can see a perfect diagonal matrix so this method is also correct but it gives you a different answer than the very textbook uh, gram schmidt orthogonality procedure and one more thing we have to check is if at all i take this q and i multiply with this r i should get the very matrix which i give okay so this process whatever we did just now it's the qr diagonalization and this can also be used for gram schmidt not gram schmidt it's an orthogonality procedure and the answer you get here is also orthogonal okay so that's that thank you